Let me show you the difference between sap green and cinnabar green. We will be using them as a pair of greens suitable for landscape painting. When diluted with some mineral spirit, we can see the true shade of these greens. Sap green lake extra is a dark and natural green color and is semi-transparent. It has a warm color temperature with a soft orangey yellow shade. When we dilute the cinnabar green light extra with the same spirit, we see a much lighter color that is stronger, more opaque and much more saturated with a yellow shade also. Sap green is a beautiful clean and earthy green color. It is fairly saturated and has a good tinting strength. When we mix it with titanium white, we get natural green colors that are very good for landscape painting. We can see that the titanium white mutes the saturation and cools the color temperature down a bit, pushing it more towards a neutral green. In this older painting of an ancient oak tree, the only green I used was sap green. For the darker green parts on the trunk, I mixed some sap green with burned umber. For the warmer and lighter sap green parts, I added some yellow ochre and white. And for the cooler greens in the background, I just added some paints grey, giving some bluish greens. On the other hand, we have the cinnabar green, which is a very different color. It is a much lighter and stronger green, more yellowish, and it also is a much more saturated color that can make your greens and yellows really pop. Mixing it with titanium white gives us very clear and fresh greens, reminiscent of spring and young sprouts. You might have to mute them a bit though, to keep them balanced with the rest of your colors. Here's a good example of using cinnabar green in a painting of a water plant. I only used cinnabar for the leaves on top here. It helps to make them stand out. Mixed with yellow ochre, it creates a nice contrast in saturation with the grey-greenish background colors of the water. When we mix sap green with yellow ochre, an opaque and orangey yellow, we see the color temperature rising right away, giving warmer, softly muted and very familiar looking greens. Very good for painting plants and vegetation. The same yellow ochre with the cinnabar green gives wonderful green gold ochres that are a little cooler and still very saturated. If we add more titanium white, of course our mixes will get more muted. Giving light greens with a beautiful snappy yellow undertone, like we just saw in the leaves of the water plant. Sap green with raw umber gives us darker colors that are more muted and give greens that have a red-brownish undertone. This draws more towards an army green. The same raw umber also mutes the vivid cinnabar green quite a lot, giving brown-yellow greens that almost draw towards a green beige. So both colors are able to produce beautiful greens for landscapes. Where sap green will give us natural looking greens that are going from neutral to warm and are more quickly muted. And cinnabar green will give us lighter and more saturated and vivid greens that draw more towards greens with a yellow shade.
I hope this video helps. Thank you.